everyone, it's Kate Chastain here at BravoCon, and I have an icon from Beverly Hills, the LeBron James MVP herself, Lisa Rinna. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How's BravoCon going so far? Crazy. Yeah? Crazy. What have you done today? I did the panel, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills panel. How was it? Anything exciting? I got booed. Stop it. I did. What'd you do? I just walked out and I got booed. And then what? It was so f fabulous and I flipped him off. And, as you did. But I felt like a WWE wrestler. I'm not kidding. Is that the first time you've said that? I bet it is. I've never been booed. I've been in this business for 32 years, never been booed. And I was like, oh my God, I've made it. I'm like a f wrestler. <laughs> exactly. And then your response was perfect. And I went like that and it was great. So you've been pretty active on social media lately. Um, and what do you, I, I love social media. I know you do. You're, you're kind of like I am. You put it out there. Fun! It's yeah. all for fun entertainment, right? So yeah. What, so you, that's not what you love about it? Well, I, I use it as a way to express myself. Exactly. Good or bad. That's honest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I use it to express myself. What does Harry think about your social media activity? Harry's not on social media, so he thinks that all of it is nuts. He just does. He doesn't understand it. Yeah. And he thinks it's a big, fat waste of time. Does he even really know how much, or Twitter, or anything? Does he even read it, know well, about I, it? I'm not on Twitter anymore, thank God, because okay. if I was, that'd be a real problem. <laughs> yeah. So I get into trouble on Instagram. So he sees it from time to time. Okay. And you know what he'll say to me? It's really funny. He'll go, you just can't help yourself, can you? And I go, no. And so he knows me. My God, he's been married to, say, to me for freaking 25 years. I was going to say, after 25 years, of course he knows you. And I have to give you a compliment. I had a panel up here, and I was asking, what relationship on Bravo do you all look up to the most? And they said, you and Harry. Oh, I and love I that. Agree. Thank yeah. you. I love that. He's a good man. Yeah, he's you guys really are good so man. wonderful to watch. Um, so you revealed in the second to last episode that your, and I loved this moment, your Tom Ford suit was rented. Yes. Uh, I mean, I was shocked that you admitted it, but I loved it. You know what's so great about that is I found this place called Janet Mandel. Okay. And they have every major designer on the planet. Okay. And I discovered it when I was going to the MTV, no, not the MTV Awards, the People's Choice Awards. Right. And I was like, why are we spending all this money Right. when you can go and literally rent high fashion everything? It's the greatest kept secret. Well, it's not a secret anymore. I know, but thank you for not gatekeeping. Although no, I, I, I want to share it because it's really fabulous. I feel like you could really use your hashtag own it and like, or not. Or not, or, yeah, rent, or rent it. it. Own yeah. it or rent it. In that case, a Tom Ford suit like that would be $8,000, $9,000. Right. Renting it was like probably, I don't know, a couple hundred. That's a, a great idea. It is. Owned or own it? This is or or rent actually it. this was a gift from my right. friend Alex Perry. Okay. Who's a genius and he sent me this. So Love thank it. you, Alex Perry. So your former Beverly Hills cast member, Taylor Armstrong, is headed to Orange County. Yes. Is there a housewife from another franchise that you would like to bring to Beverly Hills? Or a few? Gosh. Not that I can think of, like I, I don't know. Cynthia Bailey, maybe? I, you, know, I thought, you know what? Maybe Cynthia. I yeah. love Cynthia. She's That's lovely. a great idea, actually. Uh, online, you've been doing some pretty impressive splits from all your Pilates. How about that? It's pretty impressive. I, I mean, Kyle Richards still has me beat, but not bad. Do you think Kyle's jealous? No. <laughs> all right. She owns the splits. OK. Did you do anything fun last night? No, I got in really late. Are you going to do anything fun tonight or this weekend? Probably. Yeah, go out party. Is there anybody from the Bravo world you're looking forward to catching up with or meeting for the first time? You know, I love this part of it because you get to see everybody that you watch. Right. And I just, who did I just see? I mean, everybody. It's like everybody I get to see. I mean, oh, I just saw Joe Gorga. That was fun. Yes. I love seeing Melissa and George and Joe. I mean, that's the fun of this is you get to see people that you admire and love. It's like a really messed up family reunion. Like All your cousins really from around up. the country, right? Yeah. yeah. And some you want to see and maybe some Sometimes you don't. don't. Is there anyone you'd like to party with specifically tonight? You know, I like to party with everybody. Good answer. Me too. I really do. I, I really, it doesn't matter who you are. I'll party with you.
I love that. Well, thank you so much for joining me here. That was easy. That's it? I mean, we can go. That was great. You, uh, anything you'd like to talk about? No. Nope. Okay. Nope, I'm good. Yeah, well, thank you anyways. Thank you.